Have you ever wondered about the history of gold mining in India, specifically the Kola Gold Fields or KGF? The story of KGF stretches back to the year 1871, when the allure of gold first led explorers to this promising site. Over time, the Kola Gold Fields developed into a major gold mining region, its potential recognized and harnessed by the then ruling British colonial power. Under the British, KGF was not just any ordinary mining operation. It was transformed into one of the deepest gold mines in the world, a testament to both human ambition and technological prowess. The British colonial rule played a crucial role in the establishment and operation of the KGF, utilizing their resources and expertise to extract the valuable gold hidden beneath the earth. Thus, the KGF, with its glittering potential, became a cornerstone of India's gold mining industry under the British rule. The British era marked a significant phase in the history of KGF. It was during this time that the Kola gold fields experienced a surge in production. The British, with their advanced mining techniques and systematic operations, turned KGF into one of the deepest gold mines in the world. The implementation of these techniques not only increased gold output, but also transformed the economic landscape of the region. The mine became a bustling hub of economic activity, attracting workers from far and wide. As a result, the population grew and a complex society emerged around the mine, complete with schools, clubs and hospitals. The societal impact of KGF during the colonial era was immense. It was more than just a mine, it was a community, a testament to human tenacity and the relentless pursuit of wealth. But it wasn't without its challenges. Harsh working conditions, the risk of accidents and the physical toll of mining were everyday realities for the workers. Despite the challenges, KGF thrived under the colonial rule, producing a significant amount of gold. However, the golden age of KGF was not to last forever. Like all good things, it too had an expiration date. A multitude of factors began to gnaw at the foundations of the KGF, leading it towards an inevitable decline. Firstly, the economic viability of the mines started to wane. The cost of mining was outpacing the value of the gold being extracted. The mines were going deeper, the gold was getting harder to find, and the costs were skyrocketing. Secondly, there was a gradual depletion of resources. The veins of gold that once flowed generously beneath the Earth's crust were drying up. The bounty that the KGF had once offered was no longer as plentiful. Labor issues also played a part in the downfall of KGF. Discontent among the miners, driven by poor working conditions and meager wages, resulted in frequent strikes. The productivity of the mines started to dwindle, and the operations became increasingly unsustainable. All these factors culminated in the eventual closure of the KGF mines. It was a gradual process, a slow fading away rather than an abrupt end. The mines that once buzzed with activity fell silent, the machinery stopped, and the once bustling KGF turned into a ghost town. The closure of KGF was a significant blow to the country's gold production, marking the end of a golden era. The echoes of its past grandeur still resonate, reminding us of the transient nature of prosperity. Yet the story of KGF does not end there. Today, the once bustling mining region of Collar Goldfields seems like a ghost of its former self. The towering structures that once echoed with the clinking of gold ore are now silent, abandoned, and slowly being reclaimed by nature. The local community, which thrived during the gold rush, now grapples with the economic vacuum left by the closure of the mines. But amidst the desolation, there's a glimmer of hope. Conversations about reviving the KGF have been surfacing. Proposals for sustainable mining practices and the utilization of existing infrastructure are being discussed. The idea is not only to resurrect the gold fields, but also to bolster the local economy, generating employment and stimulating growth. However, it's important to note that as of our last update in January 2024, these remain just discussions. The once shimmering mines of KGF are still closed, the gold veins untouched. The challenges of economic viability, environmental concerns, and infrastructural decay are substantial hurdles on the path to revival. So where does that leave the future of KGF? Well, it's a question only time can answer. Several factors will influence the fate of these historic gold fields, and it's a story that's still being written. While the future of KGF remains uncertain, its rich history continues to sparkle in the annals of India's gold mining industry, to sum up the journey of KGF, we've traveled from its early days 
a time of discovery and burgeoning gold mining operations. We've witnessed its peak during the British colonial period when it became one of the deepest gold mines globally. We've also navigated the inevitable decline, a result of various factors, including economic viability, and we're left contemplating its current status, a mine closed yet brimming with untapped potential. The tale of KGF serves as a reminder of the cyclical nature of industries and the irreplaceable value of natural resources.